if these things, Wendigos, are or, or were human. Damn it, what happened? Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So the launch then. Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. That. Ah, forget it. I saw that. Oh, jeez. Gross. What? I am. I'm exploring. Looking for lootables. What? That. Oh crap. Oh, I hate when I have a hard stool. Okay, it's gonna attack me. Wait, don't no move. Be very quiet. I didn't fucking move! God damn it! Run! Go! Now! Now! Holy shit! What the fuck? Back! God damn! I'm right out in the open. We gotta get out of here! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh shit! Bitch. Got him. Mike, Ash, oh my god. That it took you fucking so long. bitch. Knock it up there. What? What do you mean? Chris is, uh, not coming. Oh no, I can't believe this. Ash, I am so sorry. Okay. 
Maybe you I'm, should I'm, sit I'm down. Fine. Gotta wish Sam. I had a bullet in it. Should be okay. a what about dead. that old guy? No sign of him. I think he's gotta be dead too. Oh, Christ. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. Ah, I mean, I, I... Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. Em, what? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? It's, uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? You'd been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh, my God. Some of them survived, but, like, 15 of them didn't make it. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody'd been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? Em, what is... Th huh? What is that? Ash. Em, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh it's my god. Nothing. Oh, it nothing. No, it, oh, no, it, it oh, bit no, me and... It bit you? What bit you? The... The Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's... It's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. 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 You can't be down here with us. What? Mike! You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you can't stay here. <laughs> Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh, no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're... you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, Em. <laughs> Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. <laughs> not for us. Don't, don't do this! I'm really sorry. Ah! Oh! Holy shit, Mike! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, what the fuck did I just do? Oh, fuck. Mike. Mike. fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, okay, God. it's over, it's over. Oh. You guys are safe. You got oh. You guys are safe. <laughs> it's a safe room, guys. Safe. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it. Okay. 
I'm gonna get the key from Josh. I'll, uh, I'll come back here. You guys are safe. It's over. It's over. Oh, fuck me. <gasps> Emily finally oh, shut God. the fuck up. Blanket over. Look at her, she's just like. <laughs> and we're just sitting there like. <coughs> <coughs> Only a few men have dared to hunt the Windig Windigo. This guy's a little OCD. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I'm the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. Wendigo grows out of cannibalism when a human is desperate and craves food. Trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms, he has eaten nothing for many days. Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse, often those companions who have traveled with him. He will eat the flesh raw from the corpse. We've seen it happen many years ago, a craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. And the teeth become longer. Like fangs, the creature grows and the skin is pulled taut across the bones. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. The shamans told, tell stories of a tall creature. There's a creature. lot of history to this. Woman? Seriously? The shamans tell stories of a tall creature born in ice. The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm any animal on the mountain and it would hunt any elsewhere. In 1893, the, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree, the Cree said that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. The windigos, the windigos' eyes change. They become sharp, both sharper and more dim. The wind, the windigo. Sees this says that because the windigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. I'm trying to read here. I'm trying to read here. Come on. Uh, the windigos' eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter, like a hawk, but it cannot see still stillness. If you were to keep totally still, the Wendigo would not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They, they seem to feel no pain. It cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce the skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. When a Wendigo is mutated from... Because when the Wendigo is mutated from human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. It, you must stay sharp and disciplined. I've killed six Wend Wendigos. Knives or bullets not harm them. Use a flamethrower is the best weapon. Fire envelopes them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing Wendigos should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I use traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs for those for those who had no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who had infested the mountain. There may be de defenses. Shamans wrote of rituals. I have found native artifacts on the mountain and copied the, them. Totems, bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied the design. I have tested them. Out of the mountain they work. They keep the Wendigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings they do not work. Cree uh, legends say that the Wendigo uh, grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I have, I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Oh. Uh, uh oh. Oh, no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? It says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see that. Jeez. Oh, 
shit. Oh, darn. Help. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Battery died. I was going to shoot her anyway, so I just wanted to have a happy little accident. I wanted to blow that bitch's brains out, and I did. And for that, I am grateful. What did that, what did they, that trophy say? The exorcism of Emily? Mike shot Emily, the exorcism of Emily. That's incredible. Uh... We've got to get to Mike. Like, now. That was like four or five clues, wasn't it? Oh, Joshua. You should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become, huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Well, they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. I did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry at least until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Just a game? But it's a game that has driven you to one of your own deepest fears, Joshua. Isolation. God. What took you so long? It's not good up there. Chris! Fuck! What the fuck? Ash, I am so sorry. Okay. Maybe you I'm, should I'm, sit I'm down. I'm fine, Sam. Okay. okay. Well, what about uh, that old guy? No sign of him. Wait! Don't move. Holy shit! What the fuck? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. <laughs> um, what is that? Huh? This is the safe room, M. <laughs> Please. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit, Mike. Oh, shit, what the fuck did I just do? I'm going to get the key from Josh. I'll, uh, I'll come back here. Oh, 
love putting a load in someone's eye. Well, now we know what's hunting us. How many chapters are in this game? Nine or ten? Out of curiosity. <laughs> Thank you, Baby Raptor, for the t tip that says, Dan, thanks for a glorious horror month. I also deeply thank you for shooting Emily in the face. XOXO, Dan Love. So we have about two hours left then. Of uh, cannibalized, and that's why. Guess I already found this one. There's been no sexy time in this game, by the way. We all, there was almost sex time. There wasn't any actual sex. That makes me kind of sad. Holy shit. Huh. What happened on the walls? Bigfoot! Oh shit! Fucking Bigfoot! <laughs> Thank you, Martyr, for the five dollar tip. Says, great horror month even with a bunch of shitty games. See you next year. Thank you. Well, hopefully, not next year. Hopefully, you're gonna be seeing me with Fallout 4 very soon. Very, very, very soon. Like 10 days soon. Back in this room again, aren't we? Let's try going upstairs, I guess. Kind of explain the whole mystery. Now I, uh, I guess now it's just all about escaping. <laughs> Thank you for every spot at Horror Month t shirt or hoodie. I can drop that in there. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. Need a gun too. All those shotgun shells. And then the shotgun. Ah, good enough.
have a feeling there's gonna be a lot more of those quick time event shooting sections. Where do I go now? Maybe in there. No, that's where I came from. Um. supposed to be going. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Get through the sanatorium to find Josh in the cable car key. This room over here. No, I'm going backwards, I think. I'll try and do a playthrough uh, some other time where I keep everyone alive, but uh, that'll be much harder. Probably gotta do very specific things. Oh, there's something. God damn, that's fucking loud. You see me again, huh? Hey. I was hoping I'd run into you again. Alright. Good boy. Alright, pal. You're coming with me. Alright. Here's the plan. I happen to see a map of this place. So, we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Think you can handle that? Doge helper. That one. No, we haven't announced winners. We haven't even drawn for the t shirt winners. Let me see what was. There was another door on their side. Let's see what's over there real fast. That Doge. Go this way. Totem. Danger totem. Graveyard. Ah, camera. Yeah, I don't know. I think the battery was dying on the controller. That's why it kept failing uh, every one of the standstill things. I nailed the first one easily. Let's go, Doge. 